Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And as you can tell from the title of the video, today I am going to share my thoughts on the Bears draft so far since last night on Friday night in round, really in round two. That was the Bears' first two picks were in round two last night. So, and I don't think they pick again until round five or something. So anyway, um, I'm going to discuss how I feel about the picks. Now, um, as you know, we didn't have a first round pick because um, the Bears had traded that to get Khalil Mack which I'm 100% fine with because that was a great pickup, um, Khalil Mack was. And now that we got Robert Quinn on that defense along with Khalil Mack, we got a killer defense, I think. So so I'm fine with that. Because um, you get a guy out of college you don't know anyway. He may not be ready for the pros. He may not be nearly as good in the pros as he was in college, which, I mean, really is almost every case. Um, it's rare that somebody comes into the NFL and they don't miss a beat and they're just as good as they were in college. So, um, so I'm, I'm cool with that. So, so let's discuss their actual picks. Um, their first pick was Cole Komet, tight end out of Notre Dame. He's 6'6", six, six, and he's, his hometown is Lake Barriston. Illinois, so he's a hometown kid, or his hometown as I guess it gets, um, without actually being from Chicago. So um, I, um, I mean, they needed a tight end. They they have Jimmy Graham, but Jimmy Graham's getting on in years. So um, at at I guess at worst he would share time with Jimmy Graham, and that's fine because I think Graham is going to need some somebody. To share time with, um, but um, he's you know he's six six and he um, he's built for the tight end. Um, I don't. I think his. I think I heard that his receiving ability is not really all that great, but um, as far as a blocking tight end, he should be great on running plays. So uh, we'll see how the how the passing ability uh, manifests itself and how he does there from that aspect. But they did need that was a need that the Bears had, and they did address it. And I guess um, the GM Pace had said something about um, he wasn't going to rule out drafting a quarterback in the draft, which they absolutely do not need now. Um, so you know, I'm I'm I was happy to see it he didn't actually draft a quarterback but you know i mean that's people the front office people say a lot of stuff that they don't mean to try to throw everyone else off and not let everybody know what they actually do want so so i'm glad that they haven't done that and i don't really even want to see them do that you know um but because they've got foals they've got um they got trubisky obviously and those two will be um, competing for the number one job. And then whoever doesn't get it is going to be the number two. And then you got Chase Daniel, who's, I guess, decent if he only plays on a very limited basis. So they absolutely don't need a quarterback. Uh, so their second pick in the second round, a few picks later, was, uh, was Jalen Johnson, cornerback from Utah. It was sounding great, but... Could have used a little more cowbell. And they do need that too. And that will go along with making them a great defense. Um, because, you know, if you can stop the other team from scoring, the Bears, then you can, uh, you know, you've got some time to work out something on offense and get 10 points and win the game 10 to 7 or 10 to 3 or 10 to nothing. So, um, so, so far, I'm satisfied with the draft. I think they've done as good as they could do where their picks ended up being, considering that they didn't have a first-round pick at all. Um, they might want to go offensive line a little bit. I think that that's probably a need, too. Um, 
and uh, yeah, and then we'll see how it goes because um, right now that defense is just stifling. So if we could pr protect either Poles or Trubisky, whichever one ends up being a quarterback, um, we probably need a wide receiver. I think we need somebody um, on the uh, that can go catch the ball. Um, so they, that's something that they should consider getting to. But, but you know, my take has always been if you're accurate with your passes, your receiver doesn't have to be a, an all-star wide receiver. But that is something that they could use. But they needed a tight end, and they and I, I'm a hundred percent behind getting a defensive back to bolster the defense even more. So, um, so far so good. We'll see what they do um, in the later rounds with the other picks that they'll have before the uh, before the draft ends. But I was happy with what they got so far, and I think it's going to help them. I think it's going to go a long way um, towards uh, making them a much better team and much more uh, capable uh, of competing this year. You know, especially since Minnesota lost Stefan Diggs and um, Green Bay drafted a backup for Aaron Rodgers instead of making themselves better in other areas. I think that's also going to help the Bears for next year. So, so far, so good. But let me know what you guys thought of the Bears draft and, you know, really even your team's draft so far. Um, if you're not a Bears fan, I mean, you know, I'm not going to hold that against you. So, you know, let me know what you think, um, what your teams did, whether your teams upgraded enough to uh, be competitive next year. You know, like if you're a Bengals fan, they got Joe Burrow, but um, is Joe Burrow really going to save them? You know, you have to ask yourself. So anyway, uh, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.